I'm Trey. Uh, we're here in the uh, forest of the South Island. And we've been walking through this forest about a quarter mile. And I want to take a shot. The water's deep. So I'm trying to build a little place to stand. I'm gonna set up with a vertical shot here. I built a little dam. It's harder than I thought, like everything in life. Uh, so that I could stand on and keep my tripod relatively dry. And I'm gonna set up for a vertical shot with my Nikon 14 to 24. I've got this nice log going across the middle with little plants growing on it. And I'll get the water flowing smoothly underneath. I don't really need an ND filter. A, I don't like ND filters because it's something else to carry around. B, because it's hard to focus while you have the filter on, it's not impossible. C, you can normally get the nice flowing water as long as you amp up your f-stop as high as it'll go and lower your ISO as low as it'll go. So I'll set my f-stop to f22 and I'll keep my ISO at 50 and that should give me nice long long shutter speed. So I'll go ahead and do my, my standard um, HDR situation. I have a tutorial on my website if you want to know what the software process is. Um, and we'll just we'll see how it turns out. Fourteen to twenty four lens. I have it all the way to fourteen. This is a Nikon D eight hundred so it's full frame so I get nice wide shot. I've got this sideways log, I'm gonna get the log there. This sideways log is about, uh, it's sort of at the, the five position vertically. So the ratio of one to 1.618 up the frame, almost a third, but not quite. So I'll get the streaming flowing water underneath and I can see the forest kind of moving off into infinity above. I'm in timer mode, so I'll press go. It pauses two seconds, and it takes all the shots. It'll go very slowly, oh, because it's an F22. So I just need to be patient and chill out and think about the post-processing and not fall in the river. Don't touch the tripod. Is this on the Kama Sutra shirt? <laughs> what is this one called? What do we call this one? I don't remember. We should make a new shirt. It's yeah. It's it's we'll call this one the wet spot. <laughs> we could call it sleeping in the wet spot. <laughs> Alright. Oh, he had to release. I'll give I give that an eight on the dismount. That's another shirt. On the dismount. <laughs> All right, and scene. Okay, so when you're in the chaos of the forest it's good to find leading lines so their eye catches on to the line and follows it around because I assume you want people to spend more than a few seconds on your photo and it's good to allow their eye to traverse around and if you give their eye things to catch on to, nice contrasty sticky lines, then their eye will, will attach to it and follow it to its terminus and then attach to another line. So that's what I'm attempting to do here with this nice lit up log. It's all mossy and, and nice and it's lit up while everything else is quite dark 
and also I am shooting into the sun and my nice wide angle lens. So I know this is going to end up causing a bit of um, lens flare, but lens flare usually doesn't bother me. It's a nice little surprise that visits your picture. And I will eliminate the lens flare in post only if I feel like it messes with the flow of this line I'm trying to create. Um, my only other setting of significance is I'm at f22 so that I can get the starburst effect from the sun. All right, that's, uh, whenever you look at the sun in a photo and it's got all those little lines coming off of it, probably there's a very high F number, like F22 in this case. Now we wait.